Hi YouTube, M0 WBK Reviews here again. And uh, today we have a VHF UHF D style uh, radio. It's the Icon ID 5100E. Um, I've just picked this one up, and uh, as you can see, uh, rather nice, large. I think it's about five and a half inch screen. Here's the main unit. Let's just move this out of the way slightly. Um, SD card goes in here. Uh, here's the control lead to the main head, and here's the microphone. Now. Before we get started, unfortunately there's uh, no mounting kit for the for the main head unit. Why they've done this, who knows? To make more money, I would think, as the uh, the mounting kit is on rather on the expensive side. Um, what we've done here in the shack, uh, we've picked up a one of these it cost a one pound from the pound shop um, it's to put on it's an iPad holder actually um, but it just so happens the, the head unit fits on there quite nicely and uh, doesn't move about or anything when uh, touching the screen Oops. And uh, for in the car, I've I got a uh, a five pound uh, phone holder, which clamps it on here the other way round, and uh, that holds it okay, fairly securely, and uh, it certainly saved uh, probably about seventy pound, I would think, as I call my. Charging rather a lot of money for the for the unit. The microphone goes straight into here, so uh, if you're going to mount this under the seat or somewhere like that, you will need the extension. There's about I don't know how long the uh, this cable is, three or five meters, I think. Uh, but you certainly have to buy another one for the microphone, which again is rather on the expensive side. But but there you go. Um, you can buy them all in a a package which is a bit cheaper but then the rig starts to knock up into uh, quite serious money it's not a cheap radio um, anyway so you can pay five five hundred and fifty pound uh, for one of these um, with all the accessories somewhat more anyway here's the radio here's the on and off switch volume and squelch Here's your VFOs on either side. Menu, home button, DR, and a quick. So uh, here's your touch screen. Let's see your repeaters. Uh, record facility in there that records straight onto the uh, SD card. There's a, a small scope as well. Single sweep, continuous sweep, will run through the band. Two meters is as lively as ever, as you can see. Um, if you've got an air band in there, two meters, 70 cents, just touch it on that, it will take you straight to it. There we go. Hold it, you can change. The digits up and down. Or direct entry. Like this, like so. Enter. FM, FM narrow, DV. Just have it on, have it on the one. 
on both VFOs. This side we've got it on uh, on D star at the moment. We're linked to um, 001C, and uh, the uh, the repeater is fairly local. It's uh, in Hockley uh, in Essex in the UK, and uh, we're linked to that at the moment. Go into the menus. Duplex and your tone, memory management, scans, voice memos, GPS, uh, which is built in, um, your call sign, RX history, which will uh, run through what you've been receiving, DV memory, DTMF, QSO log. Going on all the different functions here, data speed, mic gain, and so on, squelch, fan control. Quite a noisy fan on this rig. Display, auto dimmer, and, and, and so on. Fairly, uh, fairly easy stuff. Um, speech it will tell you uh, the call signs of the uh, people coming through on on uh, D star and so on press the uh, on and off button just briefly One, four, five, point, six, zero megahertz, FM. it will tell you what frequency And you can just go through all these. This is all to do with the D star, DTMF, voice, gives you power. Incidentally, 5, 15, and 50 watts. GPS information for the satellites, GPS position. screen is uh, quite responsive. Surprised they've uh, not ventured uh, into the colour screens really. Um, they seem to have done years ago but they've gone for this this kind again, the same as with the uh, 7100. So to, uh, to link onto D star, we'll just do this, press reflector Link to reflector, and uh, we'll do uh, 001C. Key the mic. Currently established. And uh, come to use reflector, and then uh, and off you go. Very very simple. I've used. Uh, couple of other D-Star radios in the past uh, which were a little bit more complicated really and a bit of a pain in the backside to, to get it all going. This is uh, very very easy. Uh, everything's loaded onto the uh, um, onto the rig for you. Press near repeaters, let's just go to all of them. It will use the GPS to find all the local uh, repeaters whether they be D star or, or FM as you can see here up to about uh, 50 or 60 kilometers I think there we go 58 kilometers um, for, uh, for that one So that's uh, all the near repeaters. You can go in there and, uh, and pick all of them. So uh, there we go, Australia, Canada, Eastern Europe. So you can link to all of these. Japan, Latin America, USA, 
there's the simplex, UF, UK FM gateways, nodes and so on. So uh, really quite easy, it's all in there for you so there's no, no messing about. There's your home button if you've set it up. Come out of uh, D star just by pressing the DR. There we go. Memories are simple, very easy to put into the radio. Um, so uh, there it is really, just a brief look um, of the ID5100, very nice rig, seems to work very well indeed, um, very easy, the screen works uh, flawlessly really. Very nice. So, uh, so there we are, the, uh, the ICOM ID5100. Thanks for watching, uh, don't forget to subscribe. A 7.3 for now, from M0WBK.